Good morning, everybody. It is December 23rd. I'm back up here at the shop just two days until Christmas. Sorry it's been such a long time between videos. Got a whole lot going on. Um, some updates on the Humvee. Uh, today we're going to be building a mount for the ECU, for the Holly Dominator ECU. Also some big news, I've entered the Red Clay Rally, which I think is in Tennessee, West Virginia, one other state. It's a 500 mile off-road rally race. And so I have got to get this thing up and running before May, which obviously the goal is to get it as soon as possible. But it's gonna be pretty fun. I'm excited. Um, it's like a three day off-road rally race. And I think the Humvee will fit in just great. It'll do well, get the lockers, uh, get the air, air compressor for the air lockers installed, get the uh, EFI system up and running, take it for a shakedown run a couple of times. Should be good to go. So let me show you what we're working with as far as the um, the ECU mount goes, what I've done. So as you can see, I have taken out the air box when I was doing the intake manifold. I've also removed the surge tank, overflow tank, whatever you want to call it up here, where this is the bottle that usually sits up here is what fills the radiator right here um, through this one inch hose right here. It hooks up, goes down, there's a hard line right here that splits into the coolant and then the fill line. So I've taken that off because this is actually where I'm gonna mount the ECU. The ECU is gonna go this way. It will hang over a good bit, um, but it's a good location because it's close to the engine. It'll be close to where I'm putting the batteries right here and I can build some stuff to keep water away from it. And then for, as far as an overflow tank, I got this. This is just a small, all aluminum. Uh, it's meant kind of for your Baja truck, race car type of thing. It's small, but I can put a, an expansion or an overflow tank on it. Um, and this will mount on the battery mount just a little above the radiator, kind of like that. And I've got to drill that out and retap it to three quarter inch NPT because I got to go from three quarter NPT to this one inch hose. And then I can get all that over here, relocate all this electrical for the fans into the battery area put the ECU over here and everything should quote unquote should work well. So what I'm planning on doing here is taking a flat piece of sheet metal, uh, bending it up to where it sits off of this about an inch and then using rib nuts to put it onto this panel and then using rib nuts again to put the ECU onto that panel. And so it'll actually sit about an inch off of this. So when rain comes down, it'll go under it or around it and then the air box will kind of block it from mud being thrown up onto it. And I'm probably going to build some other stuff around it just to protect it a little bit. But that's the plan, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've already done some measurements here. The Holly Dominator, if you've never seen one, is absolutely enormous. It's about 12, 12 and a half inches wide. So that's why they're so difficult to mount, but that does everything. Like, there's nothing that computer can't do. So what I've got is I'm going to cut this cut this and then take these and just bend them under and under to make a C and so the bottom of the C will mount to the Hummer it'll come up and then give me a nice flat plate which is this um, to mount the actual ECU now the six and a half inch block I've done here this is where the actual overflow tank used to sit so I'm gonna have a good bit of overhang but I think if the overhang is an issue or if it gets hot, I can put some heat deflective tape underneath it. But it's going to be a good location for it. So I'm going to go ahead and build it and see how it looks. But let me go ahead and cut those off. There you go. There it is. Not the, let's see, not the greatest cuts in the whole wide world, but for what I'm using it for, oh wow, look right there. Um, it's perfectly fine. So now I've got to go get my Harbor Freight brake and we're gonna bend this thing. 
So I've got it set up. C clamps hold it to the bench. And I've got these clamps hold this bar down. You slide this under the bar and then you just lift and you get a bend. Now I have my friend map gas here to heat that metal up to make it easier to bend. But uh, that should be a good, hopefully a good bend. We're going to bend the bend that's closest in first and then try to put this in and bend it, which I, I don't think is going to work because we're going to have to um, mount this thing like this up and see how it's at an angle. So I don't know if that's going to work. So that's a tight bend. Those are one inch, whoa, one inch bends. This thing's covered in oil. Um, so we'll see. We'll try it. We'll do the first bend, and then that'll let us know how lucky we're going to get on the second bend. All right. Yeah, I think this is going to be good. Oh wait, do I want to flip it over? Because if I bend that, yeah, I need to flip it over. Because I won't be able to see my marks. Well, I won't be able to see my marks if I flip it over. Oh, fabrication so hard. Getting huge pushback. It's not horrible, but it's not perfect. Let me show you. See how right there, I might be able to fix that with a hammer, but the whole point, I'm just, it pushes back, and I think part of the problem is there's a lot of oil on it, so the next bend, I'll clean all this oil off. Let me re reset it up, and we'll try again. All right, I have taken all the oil off of everything. I've strengthened the clamps, and now we're going to heat it up and try this one. Here we go. Much better. Oh yeah, that is perfect. Check that out. That is mucho good. All right, so let's take it off. See what we're what we ended up with. It's probably gonna be hot. A little bit, as one would imagine. Let's take this over here. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you see that? Awesome. Now I just have to take one inch and bend it in to make a C. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that side. making a box so now this one's gonna be hard because I have to find something that can lay which I think I have uh, maybe something here that's gonna be way too thick um, I have to find something to hold it down while I bend it that's only an inch thick 
And I don't know if I have anything. So let me try to find that and I'll be right back. Look what I found. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So this is for another project I'm working on for the wife for an outdoor fire pit. And it just so happened to be laying around, just so happens to fit perfectly right there. Now, will it be strong enough to bend this metal or hold the metal while it's bent? Who the hell knows? But we are going to give it the old dropout try. All right, let me set this up. We'll heat it up really good, so hopefully it's easier to bend, and then we will move on. If this works, it'll be awesome. If it doesn't, it's gonna go pew, flew everywhere. All right. That's lined up, that's lined up. We're getting pushed back. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. I don't know. I don't either. Um, I wonder if, I wonder if I took these off. Real quick. All right, let's take it off and see what's going on. It never gets old. That's no That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. It's rounder, but it'll work. Now we got to do the other side. Always works better the second time. All right, here we go. Let's get it hot. Let's see what we can do. Hold. Please hold. So it's definitely pushing back some, but we're just going to go with it. All right, guys, there it is. It is the ECU control box mount. Oop, I'll clean it up a little bit. But this will sit, whew, it's hot, hot. Like that. And the computer will sit right there, which will give me Plenty of space, protection, so forth and so on. I'll paint it green so it matches. I'll probably do it about right there so I have clearance of the heater hoses to get to those. Um, whoa. I can still get to spark plug wires. I can still get to everything, really. The only, the only concern I would have is filling up the oil um, and spilling it on the ECU, but I'll deal with that. I gotta have enough room for wires to come down, have easy access to the wires. So I'm gonna play with the location a little bit, but 
I'm happy with the old Harbor Freight brake. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna clean it up real quick. Let me let me adjust you so you don't mess a second of this action. And then let me get a paper towel pause video. All right, so we have it clean. ECU, Holly Dominator. Looky there, looky there. I did a thing. I did a thing. That's pretty good, guys. I'll be honest with you. First time ever uh, using a brake, and I've got that where it sits up off the Brake there, it's got an inch of clearance of water, mud, whatever wants to run in there. I'll probably drill some clearance holes, clearance, clearance, just so if stuff, water, whatever gets down there, it can come out. And then I'll actually mount it. I'll drill through the top in probably three locations, straight through the second tab, and then have rib nuts in the body of the Humvee so I can take the computer off to take the mount off. That'll be really cool. All right. So, uh, that is it for today's video, I believe. Please subscribe, because once this thing gets running, we are taking it on a little bit of an off-road rally race. Red clay rally, like I said. Um, and I'm excited about it. I want to see how she does. I'll shake her down a couple times before then. Y'all will be with me, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm super pumped about this. All I got to do is clean it real good, get sticker off of it. Paint it that OD green, you won't even know it's in there. <laughs>